Hey guys, what's going on? Tech X Central here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install Minecraft mods on your Mac OS X Lion based computer. So here I am in Minecraft. And if you've seen my other video on how you can install mods in Windows, then this is basically basically going to be the same mod that I'm going to be installing Too Many Items. So if you know what Too Many Items is, as you can see, it's not installed. It would have shown all the items in the game right in my inventory. So first off, before you start installing the mods, you're going to have to exit out of Minecraft. And then you're going to go to your app store. And I'm really sorry about that buzzy noise. It is the MacBook Pro. And so once you've launched your app store, just go to the search panel. And you're going to search for the unarchiver and you're going to install it. I already have it installed so I'm not going to reinstall it. And then once you have it installed just open it up once to make sure you know it has everything that you need and then exit out. You can exit out of the app store as well and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to finder make sure you're on your desktop or you have a finder window open and you're, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the go right up there and then you're gonna press option while you're in the go drop down menu and then just just press library and then once you're in your library go to application support and then it's probably gonna be at the top for you and you're just gonna scroll down until you see minecraft and then once you've seen that it's gonna open up this and you're gonna go to bin and then what you're going to do is you're going to see this minecraft.jar right there. You're going to right click, open with, and then the unarchiver. And it's going to extract that, and then it's going to give you this. Now what you can do is you can either drag this onto your desktop so you have a backup of it, or you can delete it. I recommend just back backing it up onto your desktop or another place. And then you're just going to open up that folder that says Minecraft, and then you're going to type up in the search bar in the search bar you're gonna type meta dash inf or you could you could just do meta and then just make sure it's searching within the minecraft folder and go to meta dash inf the folder and then you're gonna delete everything in there except for manifest.mf so delete everything except for manifest.mf then you're going to put that in your trash then what you're going to do is you're gonna go back to the Minecraft folder, make sure you're inside of it, and you're going to get the mod that you're installing, open it up, and make sure that you have all of it, the contents that you need. So I have too many items right here. And now if you need to extract it, go ahead and extract it like we, like we did with the Minecraft.jar, just by using the Archiver. And then it's going to give you these class files, and you're going to press Command A when you're in here, and then once you press Command A, it's going to select all the class files and press Command C. Now, depending on the type of mod that you are installing, it might have different instructions and you might need to install Mod Loader as well. I'm not going to be showing you that in this video. I'm just going to be showing you a really basic way of installing the mod. And so just make sure if all the class files, if there's a folder or something in here that says like uh, how to put in your Minecraft don't put that in there or if it says there's like a txt file that says how to install or whatever don't put that in there and just just put the class files in there and um, if there is one of those installation guides just read that and make sure you're doing everything right and so once you have those class folders all highlighted press command c or you can just take them and drag them straight into that minecraft folder and then it's going to come up with this little message saying an item named whatever already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the one you're moving? Just press replace. And then there you go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the bin. And as you can see, it just says Minecraft. What you're going to do is you're going to secondary click or right click on it. And then you're going to go to get info. And then you're going to go to the name and extension. And you're going to name it Minecraft.jar. So it should already be named Minecraft. So then just add .jar to it. Press enter. And then it's going to come up with this. Press add. 
And then you're going to launch your Minecraft. One second while I launch my Minecraft. So here we go. As you can see, there was no black screen. And I'm going to go to my single player, new world, play selected world, and press my inventory. And bam, I have too many items installed. I can get diamond. I can get lots of diamond. And you know what? Guys, thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. If you had any trouble during this tutorial, then please just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. And uh, see you later and subscribe.